Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the hand of straight problems from Lead Code and the number for this is 846. So in this problem, Alice has some no some number of cards and she want to rearrange the cards into groups so that each group is also of the size group size and consist of group size consecutive cards. So suppose we have a sequence of numbers. So we have to break that sequence into different groups such that all the numbers in a particular group are consecutive. For example, we have, let's take this sequence 1, 2, 3, 6, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 7, 8. So since in this we can break it into 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4 and 6, 7, 8. So the group size was 3. We have broken down the sequence into th um, group sizes of 3 and in each group all the elements are consecutive so this satisfy the condition and uh, the answer will be true in this case and it is so let's see how we are going to do this so the key observation is that to form a valid group each smallest number in the group should lead to group size minus one uh, consecutive characters group size minus one consecutive characters we need uh, from the initial number so we need to make some sort of function to check if there are group size minus one consecutive characters available or not and if we can find such sequences starting from the smallest number then it, it is possible to arrange the card into desired groups like if we in the first example if we start from one so we need to find the one two three then after removing the one two three from the array we would be finding the next smallest number so the next smallest number will be 3 sorry 2 because there are two twos so now the since we have 2 we will search for 3 and 4 it is there in the sequence so we can form the consecutive characters so the approach is that first of all we will sort the array given array or sort the given cards like this 1 2 3 4 given we will sort it in the ascending order uh, which will make us which will help us to easily identify and form the consecutive sequences and the next step is to define a function uh, help a function uh, and what it will do is that it will help us to try and form the group like starting from the smallest number in the array and then going till group size and minus one consecutive numbers in the array it will search and mark them as well and then we can simply check the group formation if it possibly forms a group and we can return the answer so let's see through it uh, let's see it through an example so we have taken the first example as well so in the first step we are going to sort so we have to sorted the array then the next step we will be using the helper function and try to form a group and then in the third we'll check the group so initially we have sorted the array now it's time to form the group one so for group one the current element or the smallest element is one so we'll form a group one two and then three so you can see that the positions of one two and three are replaced with minus one this is done because uh, we do not want that the same number appears many times in the like calculation so we have marked it as minus one since we have used the group and we have taken that into the group so one two three is the current group now the current element becomes the smallest element except minus one so the smallest ex uh, element except minus one is two currently so the current element becomes two now in the next step we will form a group from two so two three four now you can see the two 3 and 4 positions are replaced with minus 1 as well and a new group is formed so this is also a group now in the next step since 3 is already used we'll skip now in the next step we'll be having when 6 we encounter 6 we try to form a group with 6 and it forms a group and the entire uh, array becomes minus 1 so this will be the possible answer since all the since all the 
elements in the array become minus one are replaced with something. So that means this is a possible answer. So we'll return to. Now let's come to the coding section. But before that, do like the video and share it with your friends if you if you like the video. Now first step is to define and dot length. In the next step. So if n is not divisible by the group size itself, there is no chance that we can divide it into those number of particular groups. So we can simply return false. Now in the next step, that was the first step, we are going to sort. As I told you, we have sorted the array. We will keep an index. And then we will run a for loop i less than n, i plus plus. And if hand of i is greater than or equal to 0, we are doing this to check, keep a check on the minus 1 that we are putting so we will keep a check on that and then we are going to use our helper function if we do not find the successor of hand group size and we need to pass the current element and the size as well then in that case what to do return false and otherwise if for all the elements we return we get the successor we can return true now it's turn to define the helper function so private I think we can keep it public as well you can keep it private as well find successor what it was taking it was taking at a hand it was taking a group size so, and it was taking a index and the size so since our current element is i that will be hand of i so the next number that we need to find will be hand of i plus 1 since we are searching for consecutive characters so that we are storing in f that we want to find f now hand of i equal to minus 1 because we have ta already taken that element and count equal to 1 because we have taken the current element now i plus 1 i plus plus we can do here then we need to check if i is less than n and n count is less than group size then in that case if we need to search for the f if hand of i equal equal to f then what we'll do f equal to hand of i and repeat the steps hand of i equal to minus 1 count plus plus then we have find found another element and we need to increase the index as well and after this if the count is not equal to the group size that means there is not a possibility of forming row 
in that case we return a false else we can return true so let's try to run this hmm. this will be actually hand so there has been some error let me try to figure it out This is correct. This is also correct. This is also correct. Maybe we have done something wrong in this. So f equal to hand of i plus one minus one correct. This will be actually hand of since we are searching for. Consecutive characters. This will be hand of i plus one. I hope this will run fine now. Yeah, runs fine. Let's try to submit it for the hidden test cases as well. So yeah, it gives a absolutely good runtime and absolutely good space complexity. So the time complexity for this is actually n log n because we are the we are sorting the array, so that takes the larger part of the complexity and the space complexity is actually O of 1 because we are not using any extra space so this was the logic for today's question I hope you understood the logic please do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel thank you for watching the video you can also check my solution from the going from going into the solution panel and then checking this solution this is my solution where you can like here you can see the intuition the approach the complexity see the step-by-step -step explanation the java code c plus plus python javascript and yes remember me to upload thank you for watching the video have a nice day